Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rasmil. Um, if you're not part of our family, subscribe and let's get started. Today's video, I'm gonna talk, it's gonna be the second part of my first video in English. Um, five steps that I took to lose 125 pounds. I, um, I think that video did well <laughs> compared to my other videos. So, and a few people asked me um, about going into more detail when it comes to each step. So I decided to group um, the five steps into two different videos. So I'm gonna, on this one, I'm gonna be talking about step one and two. And in the next video, I'm gonna be talking about um, steps three and four. And so you can lose weight um, in a healthy, sustainable way. If those videos are already up, I'm gonna put them in the description box. But before you watch this video, make sure you watch the first one. It's gonna be up here. Um, so go over there, watch it, and then come back over here. The first step is going to be learning. Think about this step as mastering your mind and body. You want to learn the biology part of your body. You want to learn the emotional part of your body. You need to learn what your body needs when it comes to nutrition, what, um, when it comes to movement. How do you do this? When it comes to losing weight, you will have to be in a calorie deficit. It doesn't matter what diet, what style, what are you eating. If you are in a calorie surplus, that's, that means that you're eating more calories than what you're burning, you either gonna maintain your weight or you're gonna gain weight. So at the end of the day, it's gonna be about being in a calorie deficit. What do I mean? You need, you're gonna have to be aware of how much food your body needs, the amount of food and how many calories you need. You don't need to count calories, but you need to be aware of when you're eating more or less so you, will, you, don't, you don't get unexpected results. So learn about nutrition, learn about what macros are, macronutrients. I can definitely make a video about um, the three macronutrients. Um, so just let me know on the comments below if you want me to, to talk about that and how you can use that to your advantage. Um, you need to learn about what kind of um, exercise your body is able to handle right now. And then you need to learn also how to progressively get better, how progressively run faster, how you can progressively lift more weights or do more yoga, whatever it is that you choose to do. Little interruption. <laughs> if you are not part of our family, please subscribe and like this video. Let me know about any questions that you have. This is one of the first um, videos in English. So if you ever come across one of my videos in Spanish, just send me a message or leave me a comment and I will definitely translate it to English and upload it. Remember, I upload videos every Wednesdays and Sundays. Don't forget to subscribe. So it's gonna be important learning about your different muscles in your body, um, how they work, how can they, um, how they do recover after a workout. Um, what do you need to, to do after your workouts? Um, that also I can talk about. Um, what kind of stretching is gonna be good for you? Um, any, everything. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is about mastering your mind and your body. And mastering takes work. In this step, you are going to, to take it just to learn. You're not thinking about how much weight you're losing, how many inches you're losing. It's, it's not about that. It's gonna be about you learning about yourself. You probably have never thought about these details um, when it comes to you. Only through knowledge you're able to, to master your mind and body. Another thing that is very important to learn is what kind of supplements you need. For example, at the beginning of my journey, I, I mean, I have always had anemia. It's always been there. Um, but I knew I had anemia, so I knew I needed those iron pills. It is important for you to know what kind of vitamins you need to take. Um, maybe a multivitamin will do. Maybe you need more B12. Maybe you need more um, vitamin C or more vitamin B1. Uh, it, it, it takes, you need knowledge. I'm gonna say that again. Only through knowledge, you're able to master your mind and body. Step number two, you are gonna go through a phase of trial and error. You're gonna take this time to test what works for you. Maybe you are very excited about doing keto. That's the one that called, um, caught your attention the best. Maybe you're excited about, you know, low carb, like losing water retention, um, being more focused during the day, having less cravings, stuff like that. That it's great. Maybe you invested your energy in learning about keto. 
but what happens it might not work for your body <laughs> um, in my experience I love keto I did it for about three months but why it didn't work for me it's because it, I got the keto rush and it's because I'm pretty bad at taking my vitamins and I'm being honest I mean I can say I can say yes I'm gonna I'm gonna do keto and I'm gonna take my vitamins every day yes 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 but I know me and because of that knowledge that I have regarding my body and my mind I know I will forget the vitamins so I got the keto rush and at the beginning it wasn't that bad um, I got it like under here so ah, nobody's gonna see that that's fine and then I started getting it like right here close to my face I was like no not on the face no no so I knew that that wasn't gonna work for me but did I fail keto no I I learned from it and that's just like I said in my previous video on the first one um you never actually fail at a diet you can fail at learning from that um, because diets are what what this trial and error phase is gonna do is gonna let you know what's sustainable to you and what it's not so it is gonna be a phase where you're gonna try and you're gonna make mistakes uh, but those mistakes are gonna, are gonna be of big value to you because it's gonna tell you again what's sustainable and what it's not you need to think about things that you can do for the next three five ten years because this is at the end of the day it's gonna be a lifestyle you cannot drop 50 pounds get ripped and then go back to your old habits it's gonna catch up with you and your body's gonna be what it used to be and if you're looking at this video right now it's because you don't feel comfortable with it when, when, when I mean um, when I say maybe you don't feel comfortable with your body it doesn't mean that you don't love it um, a way to show self-love is showing self-respect and a way that we show self-respect is being conscious of what is right for us not what we want in this minute but what is gonna be good for us in five years so if I have any body positivity people here and are don't please don't think I am not body positive because I am I love everybody I, I love every kind of body I don't think there is there is no bad bodies um, but some of us do fail to show respect to our bodies okay our bodies are capable of so much and when you don't give it the right nutrition you're not showing it respect and it's not about what we want right now it's what it's good five years from now trust me I am body positive and body positivity is about respect remember during this phase there is no failing it's gonna be trying and error you try something didn't work you move on to the next one it didn't work you move to the next one until you figure out what works best for you so that is everything for this video remember um part three is it's gonna come on on the next video which is when in which I'm gonna be talking about step three four and five um, of the first video so I'm gonna if those are already uploaded it's gonna be down in the description box and I hope you like it I hope it was useful to you let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys soon